Are you considering getting a van for your photography? Well, this video is going to give you an overview of what I've done and what I have to help me in my photography journey. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me, I'm at the very beginning of a road trip and I normally go to Dingle as often as I can, but an area that I never really kind of went to when I got the van is the peninsula that's next to that, which is the Ive Peninsula. And all along here, you've got some stunning sceneries to take some photos of, starting with Clarny National Park, which is in the inland area of it, and then it spreads out to sea. It's the area actually that's the closest to the Skelligs that are just off the coast of Ireland. Now, the journey here today was pretty diabolical, if I'm being honest. The visibility was quite low. The area that's actually normally beautiful to drive through, you couldn't see a thing. It was more or less like pea soup. So I've pulled up now to my destination that I wanted to go shoot because I knew I'd get some nice waves, and that is Valencia Island and Valencia uh, Lighthouse. Not to be confused with Valencia in Spain. The conditions today are far different to what they are in Spain. But I knew I'd get some nice waves that would be crashing against the rocks here. But at the moment, there is sideways rain. Now, I'm a big proponent of there's no such thing as bad conditions in landscape photography. There's always a shot, except for me when there's sideways rain. You can still get a shot, but it's extremely uncomfortable and you're better off to wait until it passes because after rain or after a storm, comes light. So while I'm here, I said I'd do something, which is probably overdue anyway, but it's something I wanted to do just to document as well, which is an overview of my van. Now it's been a year since I got my van and it has been an absolute game changer for me. It has allowed me to go places and to stay places without any hesitation. And even when I had my visitors coming last year, when Gavin visited, I had the van, so I was able to park up at our sunset location and be ready again for sunrise. And then when I had um, Maz, uh, Michael and Nigel that came to Dingle, they were all in the house. I was able to park outside the house and stay in my van. The advantage then for me on that is I have everything that I need all at my fingertips and I'm very much so a person who likes to be organized and here in this van I'm completely ready for a full few days of photography and even looking around me here there is nothing visible everything has a place and a place for everything so I kind of want to go through the idea of my van why I chose this van and the certain things that I would have done as well to make my photography life more comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna give you an overview of everything around the van. I'll give you a look at the things that are there, what I like, what I dislike, and what I want to do also in the next phase and the iteration of this van. So yeah, let's go. So I'm gonna start here in the front before I go into the back and pretty standard here in relation to a van, but this because it has the double seats actually is quite handy because underneath here, uh, I can take off my seat cover and I can fold this seat forward. And what that reveals then is an area that I keep my sleeping bag in. I keep another uh, blanket just in case. I keep some of my cooking gas that I need. I've got my jack and I also have some cables as well, which I'll come to uh, in a moment. And yeah, underneath here, it all tucks away. And then I also have some towels as well in case I ever need them. But that goes under here, doesn't take up any space for areas that are gonna be bulky. That pops back down and then this comes on to here. In the front then as well, just general kind of pocket area, nothing different in regards to a cab. But what I did is I put these um, non-slip pads, just cut them and put them in here because I don't like things moving around. I don't like rattles. And I put those all the way around it so as an area to be able to hold my hat. In fact, I'm actually using a Monster Landscape Photographer hat. I lost Adam Gibbs hat. Can you believe that? I don't know where it is. I don't know where I put it. But I also have another uh, Adam Gibbs hat as well uh, here, which is the peak cap. So I'm representing in relation to that. I also have as well on the top that non-slip. So that allows me to put some coins and such like that. And I also then as well put in a, would you believe it's a, uh, a spirit level that normally goes on the hot shoe of a camera. But I put it on the front of the van because it allows me then to be able to see when I park, am I at any angle? Because if I'm a sideways, sideways it's not very comfortable or forwards or back. I can help me to be able to um, keep the van level. Wind here now is blowing a, a hoolie, so I'm just holding onto the door. And actually here as well then is another thing that I have that I can mount my camera on. So when I'm driving, I can get some footage of me driving. I can also do some talking heads to the camera. Simple, sticks onto the glass, it stays there the whole time. 
Uh, up ahead, above you, I just have a holder for my sunglasses. Again, I don't like things going around. And then I have here this little furry uh, creature, which was given to me by my son as my kind of mascot for the van. So he lives up in the top up there. And then I've got a very interesting rear view mirror because I've got glass at the back of this here. So this is a mirror. And then when I could put the van into reverse, it doubles then as a camera. So I get a great view of the rear of the van. So it's much easier for me to park. Nothing else really to kind of show except for down below here. It's an area where I keep my uh, iPods. And underneath that, I have my Leatherman as well. So in case I need anything to fix, I can get a quick space for tools. And then one cigarette lighter with a four gang uh, USB adapter allows me to be able to charge everything that I need. My uh, phone, if I want to recharge any items, I've got a USB-C here. And then I have my camera as well that sits on the front that records for me. But that also doubles up because it allows me to be able to have some footage as well if I'm driving, so I can utilize that footage as well for the video. So yeah, nothing else really uh, in the front, except for actually one thing which I carry around with me, and it's always down the side here, which is a copy of Chasing Awe with Gavin Hardcastle. I felt so bad after carrying Adam Gibbs' book around, I said, okay, I put this one in the van instead. So yeah, if there's a link in the description to get Gavin's book, it's a phenomenal book. So that always stays down here. If ever I need some inspiration or if I ever think that I'm not doing good, I can look at his images and I know that I'm doing good when I look at those. So yeah, that's the front anyway now. Um, I'll give you a look at the meat of the bones in the back here in a second. Now we'll come back there and I'll look there next. Right, so moving into the back here now. So I have this uh, bench. The only thing I did when I first got this is I got this uh, reupholstered because it was very thin and I didn't want it to be uncomfortable. So I made it a bit thicker and got it reupholstered. And of course, I made it red to match the van. The windows and everything else that are over here were all already put in and this window actually can open. Now, I don't know if I want to open it with this wind, but this window can open here and I can also have it all the way back as well as far as here. So if I'm cooking or anything like that, I can open this window and I've got fresh air. Or even if I turn on my heater, I've got fresh air in relation to that as well. I've got curtains that can close over. So again, I get full privacy in relation to that. And it's very good actually at blocking out the light. Um, below me here then as well is my fridge. And in that fridge, I can have enough to last me for a number of days and it works off the power that's within the van. So I have a leisure battery which is installed under the driver's seat and that recharges as I drive and then I've got a power outlet as well then which is over here behind me and I've got um, uh, two by USB connections and I've got a cigarette lighter as well and I can run everything off of that. What I've done actually for uh, here is I have brought out an extension and I've also got a multi-gang then as well so I can put in three items of their cigarette lighters and I've got uh, three USB connections as well that all run off the cigarette lighter and the fridge then as well will run off that too. If I do want to have hookup, I've got at the back of the van outside here, I've got a, a camper hookup. So if I go to a uh, park, I can hook that up with the cable that I've stored in the, in the front of the driver's seat. And then I've got a standard plug that I can utilize as well then in relation to that. So that's very, very handy for me to, to use it. I haven't actually used it yet. Haven't had a need to use it yet. So yeah, that's the interesting thing from this side of the van. Now, something else as well that I put in were these LED light strips. So they run the whole length of the van. I do have these lights that are here, but I find them to be quite harsh and quite bright, but they're, if I need to get a bit of light in the whole entire van and light it all up, I can use these here and it becomes plenty bright, but I wanted to have more of an ambient setting on that. And then these lights as well here, I've got a little remote control. So if I want to go for a different color, say for example, I want to go green, I can go green or I can go uh, red if I want to get all moody. I can go orange from a sunset or I can just go back as well then to uh, plain white um, as well. So that's the handy thing in relation to this and this light setup. Okay, at the back here, uh, I've put up my sheet that I would have had. It's a kind of a sunset motif. It's very, very large. Um, a piece of artwork, I suppose, but I had a covering this here. So I decided to put it up here and break up the coloring because the van has been completely done with a four-way stretch carpet. It is also insulated, it's also soundproofed, but it's all the same color. So I wanted to add a bit of color in relation to that. So I put that up here in relation to there, so it's behind the seat. This cushion also as well acts as a bed, and I'll show you that towards the end. But from the back end here on this seat, it's very, very long. I mean, if I come all the way to the back, down here you know i have a lot of space that i can utilize it's very handy in relation to that uh, i've got this cushion as well at the back and i utilize that cushion if i want to work 
I can place my laptop here, I can work away in relation to that. But that then just sits uh, here like this. Or if I'm driving, I just drop it down like this because this cushion keeps falling down and uh, I put this here just to keep that up. But when I'm parked up, that comes here. So if I want to sit back, I can sit back. It acts as a, a rest and I've got quite a lot of space to be able to kind of chill out and everything else as well. It's a long wheelbase Volkswagen Transporter. So it's a late 2016 version. Uh, and I searched quite a long time to be able to find this unit because I wanted it for this length of space, but it does everything that I wanted to do. And as you can see with this cushion, it does continue to uh, fall. I've actually put magnets in behind it as well, but I still can't find something that's going to be able to keep it up when I'm driving. Um, but yeah, that's first world pains, I suppose, uh, really. I'll give you a look at over here now, next. Okay, so this side of the van actually, I've purposely left bare for now, but it is something I possibly will change uh, over time. But what I do have here is a, a holder for my iPad. So this can go up here, and if I want to watch whatever I want to watch on TV, I can have my iPad here, take off my cover, and I can watch whatever I want, but it stores then in relation to that. But this was actually very handy because this mounts on the wall, and this will slide out of the holder that's there. And then I have a corresponding holder up in the roof, so I can pop that in here. And then if I want to relax, I can just take this, turn it this way, and I can watch there. Or I can also turn it towards you, and I can watch that way. Or if I wanted to, I can also work in relation to the same as well, because I can hold it up with this. But yeah, this lives over here, has its own position, goes up against the wall, and then it's flush, doesn't actually bounce off anything, so it doesn't get in the way. I have got some hooks that are there, so I've got my coat that hangs here which is very easily accessible. I've got another hook that's up here, so I can put uh, another coat if need be on this one. And then here I have my thermostat, so that tells me what the temperature is inside in the van. It also tells me what the humidity is inside in the van. So it's very handy to be able to have that. And plus that can connect up to my phone so I can get visibility on that uh, when I'm not even in the van. And I noticed actually when we were having our really, really warm uh, summer last year, in the van here it reached 42 degrees and that's despite having all of the things that have been done in relation to insulation and, and um, heat reflection and such like that that are all behind all of these gray panels but it still got very very warm inside in the van so thankfully i've got the window that i can um, open up for some ventilation i often find as well that i use the uh, side door here quite a lot and actually speaking of the side door so i've got this which are these curtains so i can pull these curtains here and again, it's completely dark, or I can bring it back and have it open in relation to having light. And at the back as well here, I've got uh, these curtains, so I can pull these across. There's clips that these go into, so again, it can darken up the whole area in relation to the van. And then I've also put up another holder here too that I can mount a camera to for another angle if I wanted to film in this direction too. That lives there. I can take the curtain, it can go over that, and it can close out. But even if I close these out here, you'll see that it does get uh, quite dark, which is very good. So, you know, not that I've ever had to use it really because I'm normally up before the sun rises, but it's handy for a privacy point of view in here as well. I can have the lights on inside in the van and nobody will be able to see in. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to open that and let a little bit of light in here in relation to it for whatever bit of light we do have uh, that's there today. But again, that all folds back here in relation to the same. So yeah, I'm, be I'm down below here then as well that sits on the ground. I've got a heater and this is a gas heater uh, it's a small little gas canister that goes uh, in the front here. Uh, I've rarely had to use it actually, to be honest with you. Um, but when I have done, it heats the van very, very quickly. I crack that window so I don't get any carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, but then I never leave it on, obviously, until the, once the van is warm. I have that Velcro down as well in an area here, which is kind of more or less kind of purposely built for it, I suppose. Um, so it doesn't move around when I'm driving. But that is everything that I need then in relation to keeping me warm um, inside in the van. I also then as well have a couple of cup holders. There's one here and there's another one back here and they fold up uh, so they don't get in the way. And that's very handy as well. Uh, final thing I suppose I want to show you then in relation to that is under here, because this is how I'm able to have everything that I need from a photography point of view, but then have all the space that I need as well around me. So yeah, I'll give you a look at that now next. Okay, so getting down low here on the floor, underneath here, this is actually a very, very well designed uh, piece of gear. It was done by a crowd in Scotland called the Ply Guys. And here, these all open up. So in here I have my camera bag and I can take that as well from the front, which is generally where I take it from. 
in this section as well then it opens up and what i'm able to have inside here is everything that i could possibly need so here is all of my ridge monkey equipment so within that i have um i'll show you actually it's very interesting so i have my cooker uh, within that then as well i have the handles that connect to that and then i also have um, some plastic forks and stuff like that that i can utilize that is very good because it fits within here here cutlery set and then i have a plate which pops in here and all that then as well just pops in folds over itself here and doesn't really take up any space in the middle section of the, uh, the seat in here i have a mixture of items so i have tea bags i have a bowl for my cereal i have uh, a kettle which is um, a very good kettle actually very fast boiling kettle i have my cup i have my gas for my gas cooker which i'll get to i have my coffee grinds for my coffee cup or my coffee press um, and then i suppose look just general other little things as well the cable and such like that but yeah everything kind of fits in here it doesn't take up any space i can pop it all in i got quick access in relation to everything that i need i kind of utilize this bowl to be able to put that into the bowl so it doesn't take any space that goes down here and then the kettle can pop in on top and then all of that comes in here clips in and goes back underneath there uh, next i suppose i have another one of these which is where i keep all of my clothing so i've got two sets of uh, trousers two sets of t-shirts two sets of um fleeces uh socks underwear and everything else that all goes in there uh that lives and goes back into this area uh next thing i have is my midge monkey pot so this is in case i wanted to make anything like boiling in a lot of water for a stew or whatever it might be i can make beans or whatnot so it's a saucepan basically and then i have um on the back of this over here in fact i think my tripod is on it so i'll remove it so this then is my cooking so i have a table as well which i'll show you in a moment that i can fold out but that basically pops in here and then at the back of that once i close this up i've got access then on the third area so i've got access to my boots so i can put them on in the van i don't need to get out i have my wellington boots so again i can put them on i don't need to get out uh, i have a small little camping chair so that folds out a little tripod chair if i want to sit down somewhere and not sit on the ground that can be there too which is very handy and then i have my tripods now uh, you're on one there at the moment uh, i have my seascape tripod and i also then as well have my standard gitzo tripod so all of those all sit inside here they don't take up any space in relation to the floor the real estate that's available uh, and i've got access to all of these from in the van but I also have another access point as well at the back here when I open the doors. So if I wanted to come back to the van and change my shoes outside, I can do that. Um, I can keep whatever I want to keep uh, at the back as well for easy access. But for me, you know, I find that accessing from here is something that I do quite often. Or if I'm coming back or going out just for ease of use, I put on my coat at the back behind me here and off I go out the back door. Um, two other things actually that I normally keep at the front is one, which is my wash bag. It's a rugby ball, you can tell I like rugby. Uh, and this also as well is a little um, cleaner. So it's a tiny little vacuum and it connects in to the cigarette lighter. So this is the size of it here. And then I've got little adapters so I can just connect on these adapters if I want to vacuum small areas in the front of the cab or whatever it might be, any spills that I might have as well, that just vacuums them up. And it's very handy to be able to have that. Um, I picked it up on Amazon and you know, I might leave links to all this stuff in the description if anybody's interested in them. But yeah, this has been very, very handy as well. And that lives in the passenger door in the front and this lives in the driver's door as well uh, in the front too and then finally is on the back of the driver's seat so i have a fan here which is a usb fan so i can uh, in the warm nights i can put this on in behind here uh, which is just the back of the seat covers i try and utilize all the space that i can uh, i have my kind of comfortable shoes that i keep inside in that um, and then i suppose uh, here i have my pillow that i just store on top of my fridge 
and then my fridge then is here and I've got everything that I need then and access uh, to that. Got my UDI in case it gets really cold. I have my um, blindfold uh, so that if I want to sleep and it's really, really bright, I can take that. I've got curtains as well here, which will come across and close out. So they just basically clip off over here and then that comes across and then they connect as well. So again, I got full privacy in the back of the cab. Here is some charcoal, uh, just from a moisture point of view, just to be able to observe some charcoal. And then behind here underneath the seat is the um, leisure battery. Oh, and finally as well, uh, down below here, I have my um, power adapter that you might've seen. Actually, I did an episode on that when I first got it. It's a power bank. Um, that's very, very good. Then I've got my speaker. I keep my drone here. And then I've also got to keep my 70 to 200 as well. So everything is all tucked away. Nothing gets in the way. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I think in relation to my van. I don't think I've forgotten anything anyway. A um, couple of things I think I may change is number one, I kind of want to have some ventilation in the back here. I haven't seen it get overly uh, condensated or anything like that, but um, if I know if I was to spend some prolonged time in here, land a day like this now when it's raining, I might end up with condensation on the glass. I could always crack the window, I suppose, to avoid that. The front windows actually as well do have these wind deflectors and I found myself opening those up ever so slightly so that I can let some air flow into the van. Uh, at the front, the double seat is very, very handy. However, I do miss the fact that I can't access the back without leaving the van. So if it's a bad day, whatever it might be, I'd like to be able to just come from the driver's seat into the back or vice versa come from the back into the driver's seat so I may look at getting a captain's seat uh, here which is one that actually will swivel so that gives me an extra space then as well and kind of really opens up the back of the van here challenge there though is that I lose that extra seat um, and that extra seat is handy actually if I'm bringing my kids because I've got two kids they can come with me whereas if I was to get rid of that that would completely stop that whole idea um, I can't have anybody in the back obviously because it's just a van um, and I think, you know, the, the spec that's been done, there's not much really for me to kind of think about more that I want to change or anything like that. I want to try and find an area, a way to be able to keep this cushion uh, up here because it does get quite annoying when it keeps falling down. Um, but again, that's first world pains, I suppose. The van has been a game changer. I hope it's helped you as well, maybe in making your decision. I would highly recommend to get one for photography because it is something that once you get it, you never go back in relation to it. Now, for example, I'm here, I'm waiting for this weather to clear rather than me sitting uncomfortable in a car seat after driving for three hours to get down here. I can now take a rest. If I'm tired while driving, I can find a lay-by, pull in, close the curtains, fall asleep. If I'm hungry, I can cook something. If I'm thirsty, I can have something to drink. Um, so it really has everything that I need. And the, the beauty from a photography point of view, like I said, is that everything has a place. It's all here underneath me. And I've got all this open space then as well to be able to play around with. So yeah, thank you very much. If you have any questions or anything like that, or any suggestions, I'd highly appreciate a, a comment below. If it's your first time on the channel, I'd really appreciate also if you hit the subscribe button, maybe give me a like, maybe consider giving me a comment. And until the next time, I'll see you on the, in the outside. Schlange voll.